yourself floundering around online and you have no idea what you're doing, then you're going to want to go in these options and tinker with it. I mean, it really does change the game. Uh, control of si controller Beast sensitivity. One thing, Beast 3, you, you can't do from within the game. That's true. Um, control sensitivity. If you want to go ahead and click on that. It takes you out of the game. Just click yes. Watch. Okay. Um, you, you, have, you get the option of doing it in real time so that you can actually tell what's going on, which is a really cool addition. Now, I have mine set to 1530, 55, 50, 73, 50, which is my control, you know, ratio. I really like the way it's set, so I'm not going to mess around with it too much. But you can change your turning speed so that when you look left and right, your character, the, the camera will turn. That's 56, so it's pretty fast. But if we put it back to, uh, or if we put it to 100, you're going to turn a lot faster. Uh, if you put it back to 15, the way I had it, he'll turn really slow. Uh, cursor sensitivity is basically how fast your character will react when looking up, down, left, and right on with the uh, thing, with the uh, the uh, reticle. So. Horizontal view and vertical view, I wouldn't change that too much. It uh, doesn't really do very much. Uh, remote thrust sensitivity, that's kind of important, especially if you're going to be using it to uh, to be using melee attacks. If you're going to do it to do a melee attack, I would definitely set it all the way to 100, because it takes a lot of effort to shake the Wii Remote to punch someone, and that shakes your reticle all over the place. I myself set it to a button so that it wouldn't do that. But if you really like the way it feels, set it all the way to 100, so you only have to shake a little bit. Uh, nunchuck shake sensitivity uh, is pretty good where it is, but like I said, if you plan on spamming grenades, you might want to change, uh, which is essential in this game, uh, you might want to turn it up just a tad. Uh, the, Wii, the camera styles, uh, there are default camera styles, you can go ahead and click that, uh, so that you can play uh, human, which is y your standard thing. Uh, trust is a little bit easier for noobs uh, to be able to use, and the drudge is basically, the camera will not turn if you look left and right, you have to move left and right with the nunchuck which is a pretty cool control scheme, but it's another one of those that you have to get used to, or if you played a, a previous FPS where you had to do that, you can choose this and you'll feel right at home. It's like, uh, I believe, Call of Duty or Call to Arms, or something like Brothers in Arms. Um, and you have your custom. Right, and custom, which is what I've got. Um, Don't forget, you're human. So, um, you can go ahead and click out of that. Uh, Wii Remote Dead Zone, basically that tells the camera when, here, go ahead and click, uh, that tells you, the camera when to start turning when you look far enough. So basically, if you make it really small, the camera will always turn when you, uh, when you move the Wii Remote, but if you make it really big, you know, you get that, uh, that drudge setup where it won't turn at all. Uh, so you can fiddle around with that. I myself like it just the way it is. And so do I. <laughs> uh, auto center cursor is pretty essential. So in case like, uh, especially if you're going to be doing shake melee and the reticle is going to be going off screen, uh, this will immediately put the gun back in the middle of the screen so your camera or your guy doesn't spin. Um, turn while cursor is off screen. I would turn that off because. That is your character spinning when your thing isn't looking at the when you're not pointing at the screen. So rumble is always a good idea. But uh, the sound options, uh, it's your basic sound options. Sound effects volume. I have it turned down because it picks up a lot with the we speak, uh, which we'll talk about later. Uh, music volume is you know it's voice volume and overall volume. It's n n nothing you're not going to see in any other game. So. Uh, uh, video options is brightness and sensor bar calibration. That's pretty cool. Um, but like I just said, there's, it's nothing you haven't seen in any other game. And that is the uh, that is the single player aspect of the game. Uh, I'm going to have a uh, multiplayer video later, but we're just going to jump in, and show you how long it takes to get it online, how long it takes to get you into a match, and 
how easy it is to jump out of mass. So why don't you uh, jump out of this? Connecting to the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection is actually pretty pain-free, considering that previous games made you wait a good 15 minutes before you, had, you ever got onto uh, Wi-Fi. This is actually right up there with your PlayStation Network and your Xbox Live connections. Obviously, it does not compare in the long run, but for the most part, it's nothing you won't see on PlayStation Network or Xbox Live. It's pretty sophisticated as far as we online goes. Uh, just, uh, just, what's the options in here, I guess? Um, for the most part. Well, multiplayer options is just, uh, customizing your character, the HUD placement, HUD transparency, and we speak options. Uh, not very important. As you can see, it has your friend code listed at the top left-hand corner. Below that is how many friends you have online and your total friend count. I myself have 15, and four are online. It's probably a little blurry for you guys to see. Uh, why don't you go ahead and click Matchmaking Worldwide. Uh, free for All Team Reaper or Team Objective. Uh, free for All is everybody's pitted against each other. Team Reaper is two teams battle it out. And Team Objective is something like Capture the Flag or Last Man Standing. With two teams. With two teams. Uh, go for a free for all. Now, it'll immediately put you in a room, and it will say, first, it'll take 20 seconds to find ideal players. Those are people in your rank, and also people in your area. Uh, we have eight more seconds to check, but and it doesn't look like it's going to find anyone, which is okay. Oh, no, we still found someone. Uh, found quite a few people. And uh, they're authenticating right now. We have about 4 minutes and 51 seconds until the match starts. Unfortunately, we do not feel like sitting here and talking to you for 4 minutes and 51 seconds. So, that is the end of the end of the week review for The Conduit. Uh, I will have the full written review up on www.endoftheweekpodcast.com and available in the end, uh, end of the week thread. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.